it's Jerry Ann with Scrap and Stamp Creations .blogspot.com, and tonight we're going to be working on the cute little camera kit that some of you purchased. And so I am totally excited to get this one done, and that because my next kit will be some layouts. Lucinda, I found your package. It was underneath a bunch of stuff in my car, so I have found it, and it will go out tomorrow morning. So. Yeah, I'm glad I found it. I thought it had already gone out in the mail. So, anyhow. Um, so, anyway, we're going to do this cute little camera. There, um, It is made out of a box from Michael. So, some of you may have already seen these. They also were, this was from a um, tutorial over on Ustream. And so, basically, I'm just kind of following her tutorial and that uh, and kind of putting the kit together. So the first thing that we need to do, these are all the pieces that came in the kit, okay, is we're going to kind of move all those things away, out of our way a little bit, and what we need to do first is take our um, bucket or our box here, and... We're going to reach in and cut our elastic. So we're just going to cut one side of the elastic here. If I can make my scissors do that on the inside. And then we're just going to pull the elastic piece out. Okay? So it looks like this. And then what you need to do is unscrew, find a little screwdriver, and unscrew this here. And we're going to take this little knobby guy off. Okay? And we don't need the hardware, so you can drop it in your extra box, whatever. But we are going to need this little itty bitty piece. Okay? I'm showing a broadcast screen. I'm also showing a, a regular screen on Ustream, so maybe you just need to refresh. Okay, I am using Americana Neutral Gray paint, and that I got at Michael's. And what I am doing is making a mess all over my paper. So I'm just going to glob some paint onto a piece of scratch paper. And then I'm quickly going to go and paint my box. And this paint is going to absorb in to your box. So it's going to dry really fast. Okay? The most ideal situation is the majority of this is going to get covered with paper. So if you just want to do the edges, that is completely fine. And then also make sure that you get the little pieces here. So all I'm doing is painting my box. I am here. And I'm broadcasting. And 
And because the inside of this is not covered, you want to cover all of the inside here with some nice paint. You want to make sure it looks nice. Yeah, I'm, I've had a couple of blue circles on what I can see the chat in, but I'm seeing everything. Oops. So all I'm doing now is painting because we need to paint this first so that it refreshes or so that it dries. Hey. I know, I'm down here talking to myself. No, you're not. You're probably talking to the camera. I'm talking to, let's see, how many people? I'm talking to 27 different people. Huh? Cool. Dinner will be ready in about 20 minutes. Uh, I'll eat after. Okay. Thank you, though. Hi. It's done. It's done. Thank you. I think it. Thank you. Remember, wear your retainer. Don't be like me and lose the thing and forget to wear it for two months straight. Or not. Everything went back to right just about what it was before. Yeah. All right. Oh, that wasn't Dave. That was my brother, David, who was cooking. So yeah, I wore them for two months. And then mm -hmm. 22 hours a day. And then taking out all the All right. Yep. Yeah. They do sound alike, but they're very different people. Believe me. All right, guys. So my camera base is all painted. Okay. So what I'm going to do, oh, now we need to paint this little itty bitty thing here. And all my pretty nails are now got paint on them. You just want to you can stick it on something. Let's see. I thought I had a toothpick. No, oh, hold on. I have a pokey tool somewhere. Here it is. Just going to give it a good coat of paint. Oops. It likes the paint because it keeps going back there. Okay. So I'm just, I painted the box, I painted the little top piece. Okay. Ah, all right, so we'll stick him there to dry, and then we're going to move all of this painted stuff off my table so I don't send any, any other of it. You know, I'm going to move it over here. <sighs> right. So now what we're going to do while we wait for that is we're going to do a couple of little prep pieces. 
You've got a piece of sparkly ribbon. And then you've got this piece of black ribbon that has um, the pleats in it. So the sparkly ribbon, most of the time, most of it had a peel off back, which is adhesive. However, um, it does not stick on this ribbon. So you want to take some of your glue. And I am using some uh, fabric tack, I think, no, three in one, just to give it a little more of a hold because it is a fabric that we are attaching this piece of sparkly ribbon to. Okay, so I just added ribbon down the center. And we're just adding our glitter glue right there. Right down the center of that ribbon. Okay, we're going to let that sit there a little bit. The next thing is there's a piece of black cardstock that is 2 inches by 12 inches in your kit. We're going to take our scoring board as soon as I find mine. Here it is. And we are going to score this. Ah, don't go anywhere, you little tabby guy. Ah. Need to look at how much this was supposed to be scored. That's two inches. <laughs> All right. Eight and a half by one and a half. All right. So this black piece needs to be, it's cut at two by 12. You need to cut it down to eight and a half by one and a half. And then we are going to go ahead and score at one inch. Okay. I'm going to score at one inch. And then actually I'm going to mark these because it'll be a little easier. I am going to score at a half an inch just down to the score line, every half inch just to the score line. All right, so that's good for scoring right now. 
Now I'm going to take my scissors and at each of those little lines, I'm just going to cut a V out just to that score line. So that basically what we have is this triangle shape, okay? Just a little out at each corner. All right. So we're just popping these little guys out. You can see now we have teeth in between everything. And then we're going to do the same thing on the ends. And we're going to bend all of those down on that score line. Then what we're going to do is add some glue. To the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to overlap that last piece half an inch. So it'll line up with this piece here. Okay. Hey, Shannon, long time no see. Okay, so here's our little camera piece. This is the lens. Now what we're going to do is there are two pieces of, um, there are two pieces of, uh, of this paper. What you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add glue around the edge of each of these pieces. And it's pretty much in a circle shape. So what we're going to do is press it down on our piece of paper, press our little tabs down, kind of give it an oval shape. And you can do this with a circle cutter if you want to, but this is pretty probably the easiest way to do this. So basically what you have is this little piece that looks like this. Okay. Give it a good squish. And take either your good tip pointy scissors or your X-Acto knife. And then what you're going to do is cut right around the edge, kind of at an angle. And you're just going to cut a circle to give it a round piece here. OK, 
Okay, for whatever reason, it's not letting me back my camera back out. I don't know if I like hid the thing or what. Let's see if that'll work a little better. Okay, so this is the lens. Now you're going to take your little box and a pen. So, where's my pencil? And you're going to trace around on your paper because this really does work best. And you should have a circle. So then what you're going to do is <laughs> you're going to cut on the outside of that circle just a little on the outside. Because that's going to allow us to glue it to the outside to give us the, um, the piece that we're going to need on the inside. And then what we need to do is we need, um, and this you can do with, um, you can cut a two and a half inch circle and then a two and a quarter inch circle so that basically you're just gonna end up with a little round piece on the inside. And I'm gonna kind of go ahead and freehand that a little bit because I know how wide I want it. But you can cut it on your Cricut or on your die cuts or any of those little things that you have. You can do that. And you're going to want to save that at the moment. Um, you're going to want to, you don't want to cut that piece out because you want to put it inside your camera lens to hide the pieces that are, um, that are, uh, inside your lens. So mine's not perfect, but here's my little piece here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black marker as soon as I find one. Here it is. And I'm just going to find my piece of scratch paper here. I'm going to use my little trusty book. I'm just going to run the insides just to hide the white edge on the inside of this. You can do this with a distress pen. You can do this with an ink pad. I'm just using the brush tip of my marker just on the inside. Just to hide that white. That white core. Okay, oh yay, yep, I'm excited that Gigi is excited. We are not allowed to have any more family deaths in the family or any more holidays for a while. I'm about done. Autism Awareness Month kicked off in full force today. It's April. But I've been doing Autism Awareness Month since the end of March. 
And uh, we did our mayoral proclamation. We've been working at the mall today. And um, I'll work at the mall tomorrow. And, um, and everything. So I'm ready for a break. We have a couple more things. So. All right, so in order to do this, what I'm doing is I'm just going to run a little bead of my really sticky good glue right along the edge here. Are you plugging my printer in? Dave? Mom? Are you playing with the printer? No. Oh. All right, guys. So then my little lens piece goes right over the top. And it's okay if it's a little big. And then this piece, I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the marker. Just go around the edges. just to hide that white. Thanks. I have just, I've been really excited. We ordered 50 t-shirts and I'm down to 12 left. Oh, and I have to show you guys this bracelet. I am so loving the bracelets. They're $10. They're really cute, and I have a selection. I have some, which are so much fun. Um, they are these bracelets right here. They have a, a heart with, um, oops, let's go back in the, a heart with awareness pin. The heart says, um, the pieces of the puzzle will be put together. And it's got a really nice little thing. It's very pretty. It's very bright. It's very sparkly. And it's such a good little, it's a great gift. I really love it. So. All right, guys. So now we have our little lens. That wasn't too hard. Now what we're going to do is we are going to run glue all the way around our little piece here. They're so pretty. The bracelets are just beautiful. We are going to take one end of our piece and start at one end and wrap this all the way around. Back from the lens just a little. And then you're going to end up with an extra little piece here. So what you're going to do is you're going to snip it off where it meets. Just give it a little extra glue. <laughs> Couldn't tell you, not that kind, but here's, it's really cute. It's kind of fun. So now we have the, the ribbon along the sides with our nice little sparkly band. Um, it's finished on the inside. So now the only other piece that we need to do is we have this cute little, um, our cute little, uh, beads here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're just going to put it on this little lip here. And we're going to stick it on. Now you may have to go back and re-stick in places because this is a pretty thin piece of glue. And, uh, and I know I've gone back a couple of times to reattach because the glue is kind of thin. And it will grab, but it 
it definitely is one of those things where you'll need to kind of touch it again. And that. I'm not a big hot glue fan. Okay. Yeah, this pearl trim. Just going to stick them in there. And then, of course, um, we're going to cut it off. There we go. So they are now glued to the piece. And you may have to go back and, and attach just a little more glue in a couple of places to make that work real well. So we now have our lens made. All right, so now what we need, you have a large piece of patterned paper, which is about three inches or three and a half, depending on if you ended up with a zip strip or not. That is for your camera base. We're going to work on the one that is two and an eighth. Okay. Two and an eighth wide. What we're doing now is we're making our film strip piece, which is this piece here. Okay. So what we're doing is we're making this piece here. Kind of like those old um, negatives. <laughs> okay. So this is the piece we're making. So what we're going to do is we need to overlap the two ends of our three film strips. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to meet them up, have them line up, So it looks like one continuous film strip thing. Okay. And you need to do that on both sides. Connect all three of them together. Okay. You know, like when old film ca came, sometimes the picture was kind of cut off in one of the squares and you had to wait till the next one to look at it and make sure it was good because they only had so many so length so much of a length to do and you'll notice that these have these ends are missing pieces so what i'm going to do is i want to be able to put little photos behind here so in your kit there were these little squares they're gray these little gray squares this is the size that fits exactly inside your photos photo um negative so you can kind of lay these down on your photos and see where exactly you want for the photos to go which is really great all right, on the back side of that, I'm using eighth inch score tape. And I am going to go right at the bottom of each of the photo pieces. And I'm only going to put this on one side right at the moment because I do want to be able to put my photos in. Actually, you know what? I am going to go ahead and do the other side. But I'm going to do the very top. because I'll still be able to slide them in there. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel these. Okay. 
Oops. All right. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to center this right into the middle. Really, I totally missed the top of that. I'm going to roll that score tape down there a little bit. I'm just going to leave a little on the top and a little on the bottom. And then I'm just going to go in and cut this off right flush with the edge. And that was not a very straight cut. Okay. So here is the, the film strip. Now, you know that in the camera we need it all curly and everything so that it ends up looking like film. So what I did was, it, once this is all kind of glued down, then what you want to do is take an end and roll it and grab a clothespin or something and attach it and let it sit for a few minutes. But you want to just go ahead and give it a gentle roll so it gets that shape. And uh, if you roll kind of tight, then um, it'll loosen a bit when, when we kind of pull it out. Okay, so this is, we're just going to let it sit there for a few minutes while we finish up the rest of this. Okay. All right, we have a, there, there's a little piece of black card um, this is chipboard in your kit as well. What we're going to do with this is we need to score it because it's our little viewfinder piece. Oh, what do I need to score it at? We're going to score it at a quarter of an inch. three quarters of an inch, an inch and a half, and two, is it two inches? And two inches, okay? Quarter inch, three quarters, inch and a half, two and a quarter, okay? Now, mine has a little piece of the sparkly from the um, from this. So you can pull this up and put it up on top or leave it off. Or you can even decorate this part here if you'd like. But what you need to do is you're going to fold over the top. And then these fold out. So you're going to have, you're going to end up with a little piece that looks like this. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to have to take a break in just a second, guys, because I need to check to make sure my glue it, or my paint is dry, and I need to run upstairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this. This is a very fancy camera. Very, very fancy camera. All right, so here's our little viewfinder and I'm gonna be right back, guys.
All right, everyone, sorry about that. All right. Oh. I'm waiting for my block for my big Prima dolls, but Prima didn't expect everything to be so nicely done. Yeah. So, all right. So we've got our little blinged out viewfinder. And then what we're going to do next. Oh, let's see here. We are going to cut our three inch piece of paper down into two and five eighths by twelve. Two and five eighths by twelve. Okay. All right. The other thing that we want to do is you want to take your edge of your box and trace it. so that the edge looks the same. So when you put it, there's a little tiny edge all the way around. Can you guys see that? Okay. Then what I did is instead of, um, moving this to a scalloped piece, what I did was I cut it straight and it looks like I am going to need to cut off about an inch off the end that I did not provide the shape to. Okay, so I just cut off an inch. Okay. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and glue this piece down in the center of your box. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shake my glue out. All right. Okay. And I'm going to start it on the side that I got. And then I'm just moving it around, laying it down, moving it around. So you get kind of a little, um, get a little bend all the way around so that you can kind of see the gray. And we're just pressing it down nice. I will. Okay, so that gives us the cover of the camera. You guys thought this was going to be hard. We haven't even been an hour yet. And our little camera's almost done. Of course, I did all the pre-cutting. All right, now we're going to take and we're going to put our, glue, our uh, viewfinder here up at the top. Okay. And a fancy viewfinder. This is the close to my heart. It's the For Always collection. It's one of the bulk pieces. It's black on one side. And then it's got the nice little uh, damask kind of floral print to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now I need to get my Velcro. Which I forgot to put in your guys' stuff. I feel really bad about that. Oh, oh this will work. I have a Velcro dot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them in half. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the top to the bottom. Okay, and then I am first going to add a little glue to my Velcro. Just don't want it to come off. And I'm going to put that in the center of my little piece here. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to add some glue to the back end of this just because I really want it to stay. Then I'm going to wrap this around and squish where I want it to stay. So that's going to give me a good tight fit for my Velcro piece. So right now it's just got to glue it in there. Ah. Okay. All right, so now what we need to do is put our little clicker guy. I'm sure it's got a real name. I'm just calling it the, the clicker guy. Just adding glue to him. And positioning him up at the top. Let him sit there a minute. Then we're going to take our lens and we're going to add glue all across the back here. Okay, and then here's the bottom. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this in the middle. And give it a good press. And then I'm going to cut my bling apart. And you guys can add more bling or whatever you think you would like on your pieces. I just gave you some swirlies that were part of, um, they were Prima swirlies. And I just added them kind of to the side just to kind of bling up the camera just a touch. And then <clears throat> the same thing with the other side. This is a really short class tonight, guys, because really this went together really quickly. And then this piece goes along the side as well. The other cool thing is we could do a strap. As well, like to hang it, but it's really kind of cute just this way. And then we have our little film strips that if we take this off, you'll see that they're rolled. And the best part is, is that they fit nicely now inside your little camera. So it's a little mini album in your camera. Okay. So then you would open it up. And you could pull this out. And this would be your little mini book. So. So that is 56 minutes, including a break. And again, you're going to have to fight these little pearls on the front. They 
they really, the little bit of handling, they kind of pop off. So you just kind of have to build the glue up a little bit. <laughs> well, Shannon, I think I have one more kit left. They're only 10 bucks. And, uh, and the balsa boxes were the ones from Michael's. I wasn't able to get any more, but um, so I have cute little cameras, dual cameras. I thought they'd be cute on a wedding table or as a wedding gift. And that after the fact with the little preview pictures inside and stuff, I thought they'd just be really cute. All right, guys, so that is my class for tonight. I know I normally do two hours and everything, but my son is at Grandma's house. My, I have no other kids around. I wanted to promise to get this done tonight. Um, and I think I'm going to go hang out with my husband, which I never get to do. And that he got home, um, and so no Cub Scouts or anything tonight and everything. So I'm going to go join him, have some dinner and that. Yes. Yep. I really, um, I can give you the other pieces and that, um, I can definitely do that, Lucinda. Yay. Yeah, it was really easy. And that, so, you know, it's just a matter of figuring out what you want to do and that, but yeah, I'm looking forward to going. I did record everything, um, and the whole bit. Lucinda, you have one coming to you because I, um, have totally like slacked off on getting these layouts to you. So as soon as they go out in the mail tomorrow, since I found everything today, um, I would definitely send those out. Oh, you don't have to pay me because what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out the um, send out the kit to you, and then um, you'll be able to pick what you want. Okay? I know you weren't, but it bothered me that I couldn't find it, and then it was buried under all of the the stuff. So, so, but I gave you all the directions. You just have to cut, you know, your pieces, the little bit of bling, all of that kind of stuff. So. Any questions before I'm done tonight? My brother made stuffed green peppers for dinner. I'm going to go have some. And I will talk to you guys soon. You can catch me over on Facebook, um, Jerry Ann Reeves Armstrong, or you can check out my blog at www.scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com. Next week, we'll be working on some layouts. Have a good night, everyone.